Talk about the excitement as you as you head into two days. You know, only a little bit, what, a little bit over a month left until your first game. Right. Uh, excited. We're real excited for uh, our first game, but I don't know if we're excited for two days. <laughs> uh, it's a real big challenge for us, but it's gonna help us in the long run. And uh, guys are getting ready. Uh, young guys are getting ready, and uh, you know, so it's gonna be exciting. And just talk about you and Christian and y'all's relationship and where you're at right now. Him being injured last year, and then where you guys are right now. All right, it's, it's, uh, our relationship is uh, it's awesome. Uh, you know, a lot of people, you know, might try to put us against one another and, uh, you know, try to make it like a duel or who's better. But me and Christian don't even look at things like that. We look at it as a big, as a big picture, you know, wanting to win and make each other better. And, uh, you know, just it, it's been great. And, uh, you know, I, I know our relationship outside of football is even better. So, uh, you know, it's like it's like my brother and uh, we just do things the right way. And uh, hopefully we're, we're going to make some things happen this year on the field. How do you guys work off of each other? Oh, uh, just he, well. One thing we always say: hey, you feed off me, I feed off you. Uh, you know, you make a big play, I'm right behind him. I make a big play, or maybe I'm not feeling feeling too good today for practice, and uh, he's out there making big runs. He he brings that energy, or I bring that energy to get him going and to get me going. And it's and it's been it's been great for, for my uh, my last three years here at AM and uh, a lot of people have seen it in my in my style of play and also his style of play. I'm talking about energy. At the end of last season, you guys had. A you know, the min momentum was building in a high energy. How do you carry that over throughout this summer as you enter a new season? How do you keep that momentum going? Uh, you just have to have that same mindset, uh, wanting to win and uh, knowing how to win. Uh, you got a you got a great quarterback now, and uh, he know how to do things the right way. And uh, you got a lot of great seniors here this year. So uh, we've been we've been through those slumps and uh, those those hills and valleys, and now we know how to escape that and just uh, you know try to get better each week, and uh, that'll that'll turn out to good things in the end. And it seems like you, you know, the team's kind of on an up and up. It, as far as like media goes, last year, you, probably a little bit more criticism this year. It's, you know, national exposure, going to a Cotton Bowl. Talk about that as you enter this new season. Is that put added pressure on you? More expectations make it more exciting. Right, I think it makes it more exciting. Not not too much pressure. Uh, uh, it's always great to hear good things, but at the same time, you have to stay sane and uh, you know, uh, just know the the big picture. And the big picture is winning, and that's the end of the day. And uh, you don't want to get too too caught up in the media, uh, looking at the, uh, the, the 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 internet stories or ESPN or anything like that. Just knowing knowing that uh, that we're ranked high, or and you just have to finish. That's the main thing. What do you take from the LSU game? What did you learn from that game? How has that helped you over the summer? Right, uh, by by me losing against LSU, it, it lost, it left a bad taste in my mouth, and uh, I know all my other teammates' mouth, and also the coaches' mouth. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna build off that, and uh, we was in a six-game winning streak, and we end up losing that, and now we're just gonna try to pick up and uh, just you know try to be the best we can be each week. And how has it been, and how have you progressed as far as uh, on the offensive offense with Ryan as quarterback? Right, I think I progressed a lot. Uh, my, my reads have gotten better. His reads have gotten better, and uh, just being able to see the whole picture and uh, being able to help the young guys—that's the main thing. When you're a senior, uh, you don't want to just focus on you and maybe your career or after after college, but you have to focus on the future of A&M. And uh, these guys are going to be the future, and uh, we're going to have to lead the way this year. And you know, uh, the new guys going to come in; they're going to have to learn and do the same thing. And talk about the younger talent. What have you What have you seen so far? And what do you think? Uh, I've seen a lot of great, great talent we have. Uh, what one guy that really jumped out to me is uh, Floyd Raven, uh, the cornerback position. He's he he's playing like he's a junior in college, and uh, so I'm looking to see big things out of him in two days. And uh, you know, uh, it's a lot of other guys, but uh, you know, he's really stepped out to me. What are you most excited for this season? Uh, I think uh, being able to to finish out and, uh, and and play my last games at Cal Field. You know, we we get to play Texas this year at Cal Field. It'll be my last time in Cal Field, so. I think that's what I'm very excited for, and uh, just hopefully, you know, we can win and do it the right way. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you.